All right, last one. I've done great so far. Let's keep rocking. So we're at joint E. So when I come back to my kind of my overall deal, you should have all of this information on here. We're going to copy a couple things over. The first is, is DE. I can bring in that number, 958.33, and I already brought in that number. And I could go back to, to joint C, and I would see that both of these are 775 and 775. The other thing that I need to know is DE is coming in this way at this joint. It's going to the right, and I got that information off that arrow, and it at joint E, this guy is going up and to the left. So I can, I can, I need that information kind of from my chart and now I'm ready to start. Well, I can look at the two Y and X component of, of CE. And if it's going up and to the left at, at joint E, I know that this guy has got to be going to the left. Okay. This Y component has to be going up and I already knew that DE was going to the right. So now I can come and break this guy down. And I will start here and I will go, remember, we're going to start sum the forces in the Y have to equal zero. So up and down. Now, when I look at this, I have, oh, I forgot to draw my force on here. And we'll say this guy was... 500 and it's going down the nose. So when I look at this guy, we've got three things in the Y, one, two, three. Okay. If I know two of them, I can solve for the third. Now let's look at that. This guy here is going up seven, seven, five. This guy here is going down 500. I have one thing left, B, E in the Y. Remember, I come down here and I kind of park it. And I say, which side does BEY? This, remember, is my fulcrum, my teeter-totter. Got to jump on there. Well, BEY's got to get over here to even this guy out. Okay, so we know that BEY is going to be your 775 minus 500, which should be 275. So I can put that right there, okay? Also, what do I know about that? That it's going down, very good. So I'm gonna say that that guy is going down, which tells me the rest of this information here, if this line segment BE here has got to be going down and to the left, that means this guy has to be going left as well, okay? I did not write this. B E. We're going to solve for that guy too. Give me just a second. Okay. So now, looking at my what I have left, I have one, two, three things. One, two, three things in the X. I know two of them. I can solve for the third. This gets a little bit easier this time. Sum of the forces in the X have to equal zero. So left, right. Okay. Now, I can look at this guy and go, this one's going left at 775. This one's going right at 958.33. Then I've got um, BE and the X is left. If I didn't know which way it was going to go, I'd go here. And I'd say, well, where's it got to go, right? It's got to go here, which matches up with the arrow that we already have. So chances are good. So I'm going to not do that math. I'm going to go 958. 0.33 minus 775 and I get 183.33 so 183.33 so now the only thing I've got left to do is solve for BE and I can do the Pythagorean theorem there so I'm going to have square root of 275 squared plus 183.33 and that's going to give me BE. So I'll put that in my calculator. Square root 
275 squared plus 183.33 squared gives me 330.50. Now, the only thing I have left to do is to transpose those numbers back over to my chart. This guy is 330.50. This arrow is pointing this way, which means this one is pointing that way. And when I look at that, okay, and I say, when I look at that, what is going on there? Well, those internal forces are pointing to each other. So think about Braveheart and when he's up on the rack and he's getting stretched apart. What is he doing? He's trying to pull in. So this guy's in tension. Okay, this guy's intention because this member is trying to shrink in. It's trying to pull because it's being pulled apart. Okay, so that is the last thing that I know. My chart is complete. I could go back and work, work joint B just to double check. Um, but I already have the answer key, so I know it's right. All right, questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.